Hey guys, so today um, I actually got my Neo Kyo package. I wasn't actually expecting it to come today, but I will say it did come really fast because it came in like two or three days. I obviously got like FedEx shipping, so yeah. But we are just gonna go ahead and get into it. I wanted to film a separate Neo Kyo haul, even if it won't be too long, um, but I did get a few things, so. Let me open it real quick and I apologize for my nails. I tried to do them and then I picked it all off and now they're just really ugly so sorry about that but let me get this open. So this is how it came like bubble wrapped. Um, I'm gonna open this and make sure like cross off my last name because I think it shows your last name too and I'll be right back when I do that. Okay so I did that very sloppily because there are so many things to go through. Um, but yeah, I didn't realize I got this much stuff, honestly, but anyway, if you can still see my last name on some of them, uh, just ignore it. I don't necessarily care that much, but whatever. Anyway, we'll start with the biggest item, which is this album. So let me just clear the way. Okay, I kind of went crazy because Yokio's fees are really good, like only two, like a little over $2. So this is the first thing I got. It is the Wish on the Same Sky CD, and I got it with Minhyuk's photo card. As you can see, so oh, the back is really cool. I did not know that's what the back looked like, actually. Wow, okay. Anyway, I'll open this real quick. There's not really anything exciting, though. Yeah, it's just lyrics, so. Yeah, I'm really happy to have this. I've been waiting. This is like the first thing I had in storage. And by the time I shipped this package, uh, this had like five days left. So that's how long <laughs> this has been sitting in the warehouse. But it also came with this sticker, which is really cute. So yeah, that is the first things that I got. We will do this next, which I have no idea what it is. Oh yeah, I got his um two tuck gum. Ow. That hurt. Okay, hold on. Yeah, this is his two tuck gum postcard, which is a little bit big, but it's not that big of a deal. And his little ID. So yeah, we got that. I'm trying to keep this in frame as much as I can. But we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> To go through we can do this next it comes with it came in a whole thing of cardboard okay oh my god wait i didn't even order this this is like a freebie i guess Wow, it's so sweet. So as a freebie, I guess, they gave me his Tony Moly lip tint little postcard and like this one. Well, this is cool because this is actually, I actually need this one. I don't have this one yet. And then this one I do have, but it has a different back. So I don't know what that's about, but I'm so happy. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I got the sticky, sticky tape on the back of this. Oof. Okay, we're safe. So these were our freebies. Let me open the actual thing that I bought. So the actual thing that I got is his um, Mom Vive fan club, the new thing. It's like his photo card and then his ID card. So I think these are really cute and I'm really excited to have these now. So yes, and that was so sweet. They gave me that as, those things as a freebie. Wow, okay. We'll do these next, why not? I might as well just do all of his Tony Woolley cards at first. I mean, Tony Woolley, oh my God, I always do that. Two Tuck Gom cards first. the first two this is like absolutely the cutest photo card of all time 
Um, and this one is so cute too. These are like, wow. I love them to death. We'll start our Tuta Gom section over here, I guess. Okay, this is next. This is a huge top loader. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, there's more. Okay, so these are the next two Tuta.com cards. So yes, um, I have this other one already in my binder, so that's complete now. I still can't get over how big this top loader is. <laughs> okay. Next we have this one. Oh my god, I kind of want to translate that message. I think I'll do that after this video. But we have a another to tuck on card. But this one is from the other batch, like the second batch I think it was. So focus. Yep. Yeah. So I only have two of these cards so far. I need to work on that, but I'm just I'm just happy to have this set complete at least, so that's something. This one, I have no idea what it is because it's in like a cardboard, so let's see. I forgot, I literally forgot about this. This is the last Kihyun card I need, and now my Kihyun collection is complete. Wow. This is like one of the main reasons I started this um, Neo Kyo order, and I literally forgot that I got it. That's smart. So yeah, this is from the code, and it was the last card. I feel like when I got this on Neo Kyo, it was so hard to find and i finally found it and i was so happy and then like a few days later it started showing up on instagram and everywhere else and i'm like why couldn't you have showed up before but thanks a lot we can go ahead and open the one not monster x item which is this guy him card um i guess this is from i think it's called the end of nightmare i think it's the album with Peary on it but i believe it's out of print because i cannot find it anywhere um, and I wasn't going to collect Guy Hands out of print cards yet and unless the albums came back in print, but I found this for a really good price and it'll fill in my page well because I've had one empty space for a selfie and I love her selfie cards. Like, I was just going to collect only her selfie cards at first, but I decided to go all in, but yes. So this is really cute and I'm really happy to have it. I might need to zoom out. Hold on. So now we will go into like the special Menhyuk cards that aren't too tuck on. Um, there's like three of them, I think. And the first one is his alligator sticker. I don't think I've ever seen a Japanese seller ever give me something in a not sideways top loader. So some traumatic things happened while I was opening it and it's kind of bent up. Oof, okay. Um, we're just gonna hope that that flattens out well. No one saw that happen, it's fine. Okay. Then we have this one, another side one. <laughs> this is his Linstown card. I don't know, this thing is like paper thin and people are trying to sell this on eBay and like Depop for like $30, which is ridiculous because I bought this for $6. <laughs> six dollars and it is like are you kidding no it is not worth that please don't buy it for that um but i'm happy to finally have it i didn't necessarily even want it at first because it's like a little bit cursed because it's a horizontal and not a selfie but i mean i want if it has a hook on it i'm gonna buy it so it's fine <laughs> i'm happy to finally have it and i didn't have to pay thirty dollars for it and the grand finale for minhyuk special cards is like my absolute holy grail card I've wanted this card for so long. It is insane. And it is his X Clan Origins card, the first concert. 
I have been looking for this card for so long and I cannot find it under like 30 or 50 dollars. I got this for like 20 something dollars. I am so happy. This is like my holy grail. Like the space in my binder has been there since I started collecting. Like I wanted this so bad because it's from the first concert and I'm just so happy that I found it. It's insane. But we did get some freebies. So we got this Minhyuk transparent freebie which is really cute actually. And we got this group sticker. So yes, the freebies are very nice. Now we can get into this stack of Wanho cards. <laughs> um, let me organize this so I can have you see everything. Okay, so the first one is his trespass card. I'm very excited to have this, even though it's horizontal. Thank you, Wanho. <laughs> but yeah, we will start this pile over here, I guess. Okay, yeah, you can see. Sorry that it's all sideways, but I'm trying to fit all of this in frame, so. Next is his pre-order card from the Connect. So here it is. Yes. Okay. I'll put this one down here because there's a space. But I'm trying to go through these quickly, but I don't know if it's working. Oh, there's another note. I'm gonna translate that for real. Okay. It's probably not gonna give me an accurate translation, but we tried our best. It's fine. So. this card from the code i actually pulled this card in my album originally which i just pulled so much wanho and there's just so much wanho that i've traded and stuff and i'm like how do i get all that back <laughs> next we have his other version of the clan part one Sorry if you can hear my dog barking again. And last but not least, we have his Are You There version 3 card. And this is so cute. Hold on, let me get the tape off. Oh my god, look how cute they like doodled on the sleeve. Hold on. Look at this. Wait, let me focus it. This is baby. Oh my god, I'm gonna translate this too. I'm so I'm so tickled at these notes. Yeah, look how cute this is. Oh my god. Okay. So this is the version three card. From Are You There? Um, as for a review for Neokyo, I would definitely recommend using them. Um, the only downside to this versus Japonica is like obviously the wait time for them to buy stuff and lately I've noticed they've been having a lot of restrictions where they can't order from Mercari because their profile is being like investigated or whatever. Um, they usually fix it kind of quickly but lately it's been like kind of bad <laughs> so you have to be patient um, but it's almost worth it because of how low the fees are compared to everywhere else. Um, I usually use Japonica and their fees are 500 yen, which is like $5 per item. And then here it's 250, which is a little bit over $2 or two something. And yeah, and I like how they have their own website and you don't have to do it through email like with Japonica. I've never done Bai, but I've heard they have really bad fees and stuff. So yeah, I like Neokyo a lot and I'm definitely, I'm still using it now. Um, and I would definitely use it in the future and I would recommend that you try it too if you want to find some cheap cards. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my haul. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.